Hey, welcome to Crimson Woodworking, and I'll get right to it. If you tuned in today, you're interested in these wicking tubs. You probably saw the title uh, about the wicking tubs. Now, these are great for growing anything in. I'm going to grow blackberries in mine, but you could use them for tomatoes, especially tomato plants. But let me show you how to quickly make those where the, where the water wicks up through the soil from the bottom. All right, you want to start off with a with a decent sized tub. I got these at, at Home Depot just recently. Uh, today is the Monday, September the 16th. And I got these about three days ago at my local Home Depot for $7.98. And these are 21 gallon. They're 19 inches tall and they have an opening at the top of 20 inches inside opening. So it's a pretty good size uh, tub at Tractor Supply. These were like 30 bucks for the same thing. They have a nice rope handles. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get some perforated drain pipe. And I got this at Lowe's. I know a different place, but I bought it a few days later. And I got some landscaping fabric. Now, when I bought, I ordered on Amazon because I didn't need much and I didn't want to buy a ton of it. And this was eight under, it's like, like eight bucks. And this is the kind, it's going to look like plastic, but it allows water to go through. But it, the old, the cheaper kind, the real thin kind, is not going to work. I mean, it, it may work for one for a little while, but it's going to it's going to fail after a while. This the kind that kind of looks like plastic plastic uh, will last a long time. So the next thing you do, and the, this ended up being um, 42 inches, and I took some of the fabric and I covered the openings on both ends, and it has the holes in it. You can see some water falling out now because I did a little test earlier, and I'll tell you about that. And then you drill a hole in it. Oh, uh, there's my hole. And that's a cut hole, not a drill hole. But uh, let's get you where you can see this other tub. Okay, so you fold it and place it in. And I'll show you what this looks like inside there. And this is where you're going to put your water at. Now, earlier, I took this over to my sink and measured, it took four gallons before water started weeping out, uh, coming out the weeping hole. And that's the next thing is you want to come down about a half inch to three quarters of an inch from the height of your, uh, this four inch pipe and, and drill one hole. And that's for excess water, like when it rains or you, maybe you, you want to know when you're filling it up with a with a hose when you have it full it'll start pouring out the this hole so it'll look something like this and what i did was i took a small piece and put some tape on it and i'll see if you can see that in there uh just some tape around that and then lastly would be just take a, a, a piece of fabric, of your landscaping fabric, and you're gonna drape it over it and push it down. Now, when you, when you push it down to put your soil in, what's gonna happen, and I'm gonna show you this, in the bottom of this donut area, you'll see that it goes, we push the fabric all the way to the bottom where it creates a little round donut. And it's gonna be, the fabric's gonna to be touching water the whole time. And you put your soil on top of this, or actually, uh, um, you wanna not soil some, uh, I can't forget what it's called, but uh, you're gonna put that in next. And as you water it, your water coming down into this tube, filling up from the bottom, it's going to uh, start waking up a little at a time. Now for the first few days, maybe the first week, you'll still need to water your plant on top until it's had time, because it's a slow process to wick up to the top. 
And when it does, then you may not have to, four gallons last a long time for small plants, especially like blackberries. Tomatoes, maybe not. You're probably gonna still add water a lot, but because tomato plants really use it. But that in a nutshell is how to make a wicking tub. One last thing. When you're putting your PVC pipe in, to, in, in the uh, perforated uh, drain pipe, you wanna try to cut at a 45. And the reason why is that if you cut it just flat and stick it and put it down in there, stick it down in there, uh, when it's touching the bottom, the water won't be able to escape out and it's not gonna do good. But when you put it at a 45, it, it can't be blocked at the bottom. So the water will always be able to, to, to go in. And that's it. This is, these are very simple to make. And it's a potting mix, not potting soil, potting mix. Don't put, don't buy the one that says soil, buy potting mix. That's it.